Hello, viewers. We are at the next section, Heuristic Search Techniques. In this section, we will start with understanding what heuristic search is. We will then look at uninformed and informed search and solve constraint satisfaction problems. We will also learn about local search techniques and simulated annealing. Further, we will construct a string using greedy search, solve the region colouring problem, and build an eight puzzle and a maze solver. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with understanding heuristic search. In this video, we are going to take a look at heuristic search and understand the difference between uninformed and informed search. Searching and organising data is an important topic within artificial intelligence. There are many problems that require searching for an answer within the solution domain. There are many possible solutions to a given problem and we do not know which ones are correct. By efficiently organising the data, we can search for solutions quickly and effectively. More often, there are so many possible options to solve a given problem that no algorithm can be developed to find a right solution. Also, going through every single solution is not possible because it is prohibitively expensive. In such cases, we rely on a rule of thumb that helps us narrow down the search by eliminating the options that are obviously wrong. This rule of thumb is called a heuristic. The method of using heuristics to guide our search is called heuristic search. Heuristic techniques are very handy because they help us speed up the process. Even if the heuristic is not able to completely eliminate some options, it will help us to order those options so that we're more likely to get to the better solutions first. Now we will learn about uninformed and informed search. If you're familiar with computer science, you should have heard about search techniques like depth first search, DFS, breadth first search, BFS, and uniform cost search, UCS. These are search techniques that are commonly used on graphs to get to the solution. These are examples of uninformed search. They do not use any prior information or rules to eliminate some paths. They check all the plausible paths and pick the optimal one. Heuristic search, on the other hand, is called informed search because it uses prior information or rules to eliminate unnecessary paths. Uninformed search techniques do not take the goal into account. These techniques don't really know where they're trying to go unless they just stumble upon the goal in the process. In the graph problem, we can use heuristics to guide the search. For example, at each node, we can define a heuristic function that returns a score that represents the estimate of the cost of the path from the current node to the goal. By defining this heuristic function, we are informing the search technique about the right direction to reach the goal. This will allow the algorithm to identify which neighbour will lead to the goal. So that's all for this video.